my little motivation speech. Yes, guys, as we know, man, time is changing and time has changed rapidly. And but now is the time. Now is the time when we have to start looking and accomplish and achieving. Now is not the time for procrastinating. Now is not the time. If you was a person who loved to procrastinate uh, years ago, you got to get out of that, man. Things happening too fast now too far. So we got to try to see what we could accomplish in these times. Because we don't know what next year going to be. We don't know what next year going to bring. We don't know what type of weather we're going to be dealing with. We don't know what type of situation we're going to be dealing with. So we got to start prep ourselves, our mind. We got to start put ourselves in survival mode. How are we going to survive in case things happen? You know, I always try. You know, I did videos about trying to own property, how to own land, how to... And I don't know if you guys understand what's happening. Very soon, you wouldn't be able to get a piece of land to buy. Very soon, it will be very difficult to find a home to buy. Very soon. What you don't understand, many, as far as I'm, many people, many investors brought up a lot of the properties, plenty of all the house, all the abandoned house you used to see in areas. They bought them up. And they fix them. No, they're renting them. They're not even selling them. They're renting them. So a lot of the houses them is investors owning these houses. So the more you procrastinate is the more difficult it's going to be for you to able to purchase a house. The more we procrastinate is more harder is going to be to buy a purchase a piece of land. When we talk about land and we talk about the value of land, land do not rotten. Land does not rotten. I always talk about invest, try invest in a piece of land. It ain't got to be big. It could be a quarter acre. It could be less than a quarter acre. It's a piece of land and it's your land. All you got to do, make sure you cover your tax every year. Make sure you cover your tax every year and it's yours. In the future, this same piece of land could the value. All it takes is developments around your property, your piece of land. All it takes, houses start building up. All it takes, business start coming in around your neighborhood. Well, not every place is going to be like that, but I'm just saying. That's all it takes for the value of that property you buy five, six years ago to raise. All it takes, development in the neighborhood. All it takes, a property. Someone fix a property and sell it for a certain price things start rising. You see what I'm saying? Because when a house, when they're looking at house value, they're looking at wrong. They're looking in a, a, a mile, within a mile, and they're looking at the last house, how much did it sell for? So that's where they, 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 they're valuing from. So if someone now sell a three-bedroom house for $400,000, and you have a three-bedroom house in the same within a mile, you could be looking at the same price according to the condition of your property. But I'm just saying, guys, if you don't be careful today, if you don't be careful, you're, you wouldn't able 
to purchase land or house. Sometimes, sometimes you might, for the people who own a land and for the people who own house or houses, sometimes you could, you might end up in a tight spot. You just never know things happen. You might end up in a tight spot and someone might approach you at the time and someone might give you an offer. All right, man. Someone might give you an offer. Okay. So you have a piece of land, man, you're selling it. I could give you such and such for it right now. And because you might in a tight spot, you might just tell yourself, you know what, man, let me just sell this thing, man. Let me just sell it and do what I got to do. Well, I tell you this sometimes, guys. Sometimes you got to just deal with your situation. You see what I'm saying? And try to do what's necessary or what you could, you know, sometimes, you know what I mean? Because we just keep selling, 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 selling. It's not really helping our generation. You see what I'm saying? We have to look at our next generation. Well, that's me. I can't say we. Let me say me. I look at my the next generation. I look at stepping stone. I look at how can I make things easier for my children, my grandchildren. How can I do that? And if we got to get into the verge of selling everything we own, we're going to happen to our next generation. And this is the thing. When you look at other culture, these culture is not selling, they're buying. These other culture is not selling, they're buying. So we got to get into that Forge. Sometimes in in this type of discussion, in type, this type of discussion, there's people who are gonna say, "Well, I'm not gonna leave anything because them children are gonna be fighting and them children are gonna be selling as soon as I go." Well, I'll say this: every children is not the same, and you can't judge every person. At, on the same level. You see what I'm saying? All you got to do, put things in place that they cannot fight, they cannot sell. A car. You see what I'm saying? You, Your job is, if you just leave it open up, just like that, of course. But if we do things the right way, they could fight all they want, ain't nothing they can do because there's paperwork in place.